guys, welcome back to my channel. This is OXEVO, and today I'm going to be talking about the new update that happened roughly two days ago. I want to quickly apologize for uploading an update video this late. It's because I was uh, away from my house for two days and I wasn't home, so I couldn't record on the day that the update happened. I was very busy, and the reason I'm doing it this late is because today I had to drive around to a lot of places. Now that's covered, I'm going to <laughs> express my emotions that this new Itachi uh, let me see him right here this new Itachi he is pretty cool I think he's a uh, he's really good you know he's good for what he is so of course he's not going to be the same as the old Itachi where you know you spam your shurigans and you have your Tsukuyomi ultimate etc etc but this is what I like to say don't think of it as oh the old one's better no the new one's better no it's more like they're both good and different so Let's see, um, like the new Itachi, his kit, I don't I didn't summon on him yet, I think I will on Friday with, um, my boys, we, um, so stay tuned for that, but, um, what I like about his kit that's very defensive, he's truly an ultimate defense character, so you have his Susanoo shield, which protects you from a lot of things, even ultimates, you also have a, uh, Phoenix Fire Jutsu, and you have... Amaterasu. Now that one's really cool. That's the one I'm actually looking forward to the most. If I can get one, well, and I'm lying. That's such a stupid thing. Of course, I'm looking forward to the ultimate. But out of the regular moves, Amaterasu is the coolest. It's really, really, really cool. Then again, it is his four star. But anyways, not the point. His ultimate, dang, it is lit. I um, played. Of course, I granted him out to a gold already. But I have played the missions a lot, and when I see the people use it. I am shocked, I am shooketh, I am dead, I, it is so awesome, it's the coolest ultimate in the game in my opinion, is it the best, I'm not really sure, I haven't tested it out myself, but it is the coolest that I have seen, so there's that, um, I think he's a good character, very defensive, um, his ability points that you can spend on him, I think they're actually quite decent, uh, let me see, yeah, uh, he's overall very good, you can make him very, very strong, uh, However, I do have a complaint. I've seen a lot of summoning videos, and um, yikes, this Itachi banner, the drop rates are entirely crap. I mean, like, pure crap. I uh, I did summon one, but I only got blue cards. On my other account, uh, I used like 400 Shinobites on my other account, and <laughs> I didn't even get a single of his Jutsu, like none. So I'm very worried, I'm concerned about this banner because I I think the drop rates on this are ridiculously bad. I mean like very very bad. So that's that. Uh, what I wanted to cover real quick, the special mission that you can do right now for it. I think it's really cool. It's actually my favorite one that we ever had. Uh, I'm just gonna run them real quick. I think it's really 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 cool. It's uh, my favorite one we ever had. The map of it is very sick. Oh hi Tachi. How you doing? Yeah, guys, I think this map is sick. I hope they actually make a uh, fortress skin for this. That would be really sick. I Well, I don't know if I spend 100 Shinobites on it. I'm mean, kind of greedy like that. Like, that's two summons right there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if you're one of those people who buy skins, I would. That's sick. It looks really cool. Now, this um, this special mission, it's not too hard, you know. It's, it's fun. I like it. Um, the only thing, I do have a quick complaint, guys, just overall for any special mission. Please try to kill all the enemies first, guys. Like, you want to get as much boxes as possible. That's how you get higher drop rates. And I'm kind of baffled when I see people going to the last enemy immediately just fighting. Like, guys, don't do that. Please don't do that. It's, it's hard, especially, like, if it's your first time doing the mission, guys. Like, for real, don't do that. Please. Of course, mistakes happen. I've done that before, but, like... Try, try your best not to, guys. It's very annoying. Like, it takes me like five tries just to get all the rewards. Yikes. I mean, I'm not mad because I have to farm them out anyways. I farm every character out to six stars. It's just my uh, view on this when I take them. So please try to get as much enemies killed as possible. See, like, Gara, you better not kill Sasuke, really. Like, you better not. Anyways, uh, for this mission, you want to use someone that has a uh, Annihilation Jutsu. So. Your Shikamaru would work with uh, his kunai throw. I believe all kunai throws are annihilation. What else would work is the ultimates. I don't know much of uh, annihilation ultimates. I think so. Oh, first. Oh, hi, Kirin Sasuke. Oh, and by the way, uh, I did say this before, I think, that Kirin Sasuke will be next. I'm not sure if I said in the video or I was just talking about my guild, but I was 100% sure that 
um, Kirin Sasuke will be next. So I have, yeah, that's that now. I did want to mention something really, really quick. I've seen FG3000's video on uh, who he thinks the three characters are, and I like what he pointed out, and I think uh, I've seen a few other people point this out, and I have thought about this too, but I just want to credit him because uh, he was the first video I've ever seen on the update. So, with this login bonus, um, yeah, the Japanese Holiday Week campaign, you get uh, three types of evolution material. You get a defense, a... Um, is that skill? Yeah, skill, and then assist. Now, okay, so of course Itachi is defense, which is the yellow. Kirin Sasuke will probably be the blue one, but the third one is assist. Now, I'm quite certain, well, I don't want to be 100% sure, but I really do think that Seiji Naruto is coming. He will be the last character for a few reasons. One, based on the characters that have been released in the story, it makes sense for him to come. Another reason is because it's Surprise Attack Mission 4, they're obviously going to make the main character of the show, like another version of him, like they're going to make him be the, like the strongest one for Surprise Attack Mission, that's always the last shinobi of the three, ever since we have Surprise Attack Missions. Now, with that said, I'm kind of baffled because I didn't think Sage Naruto would be a green character because it just doesn't really make sense, but at the same time, I can kind of see it being that uh, it's stage nature and the chakra and all that stuff. So, I mean, yeah, he could be an assist character, but I always thought he would be a purple, like just overall averaged out in directions. Um, yeah, but I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? Who do you guys think is the last shinobi? I personally think it's going to be stage Naruto. A lot of people are saying that um, Susano Kakashi will be coming. Uh, no, I think they're gonna go in order with terms of like story kind of Yeah, kind of yeah in terms of story. No, he's not coming. Um, I think Sage Naruto maybe Killer B um, Once again, I don't see him being an assist character Maybe Caught in I don't think so though. I don't think she's that high profile enough to have her own weakened banner and be the uh, Boosted character for surprise attack mission. I just don't see that happening. However, what I do think could happen when Kirin Sasuke is released, uh, let's see, next week? Yeah, in eight days, a week, kind of a week and a day away. I could see them doing a hero battle dance for Team Taka, so with Jugo, Suigetsu, and Karin. I think that would be cool. I'd like that. Maybe one of them could have their own banner with an ult. Um, especially Karin. I'd like if she'd have her own banner because she'd be a good healer if you don't have Tsunade. So that's my little uh, take on it. Other than that, uh, comment down below. I want to know what you guys ranked in Surprise Attack Mission. I, these are the final rankings. I achieved rank 344. Really, really cool. Um, I'm happy about it. A little mad um, just because I was so close to being top 100. But the point difference that I had versus the top 100 was quite big. So either way, I'm proud. I made it below top 1000 and you know i got happy so that's my view on it uh what do you guys think are you guys excited for this new itachi are you guys summoning on him have you guys had any luck on summoning on him comment down below tell me got tell me your experiences i want to know uh other than that guys i think that's it for this video stay tuned for more this week i'm gonna be summoning with my friends so definitely watch that out um yeah guys that's it i think this is a great update i like it i like the direction we're going in these are some really awesome characters um yeah so i'm gonna leave it at that guys uh if you like this video please hit that like button comment down below and subscribe to my channel and have a good one guys ox evo out